before that, he's the man whose name is found in most households around the world. From vacuum cleaners to hair straighteners, Sir James Dyson's journey to billionaire businessman is like no other. And we're delighted to be joined by Sir James now. Good morning. Thank you for Good coming morning. to see us. Oh, Thank pleasure. you so much. Oh, You've got a book out. This is the book here. Uh, it's great cover, by the way, very stylish. Uh, very James cheap. Dyson, obviously you, uh, Invention, <laughs> A Life. Why did you decide to do this? Because it's not your first book, is it? No. No, I did it because um, we started university four years ago to train engineers. Um, you know, it's free, the education's free, we pay them, actually. Yeah. And they're now about to graduate. And also because, you know, the young people are passionate about sustainability mm -hmm. and a green life. And I think that engineers can solve all these problems. We run a Global Design Award, and it's extraordinary the brilliant things these young engineers come up with. And one engineer in the Philippines who won the competition last year uh, found that you could squash rotten fruit and spread a film across the window and create electricity from it just from light. Oh my goodness. And he was me. charging his iPad from this pane of glass. Wow. And that, wow. That's, and that will go into commercial production. So if we, if we can solve all these problems, and I want to inspire young people to take up engineering. And, and solve the things they're so passionate about. You're, if something's bleeding. It's this, it's right, yeah, yeah. This, Have we not charged one something? Your, is it us? One of your gadgets. It's, it's one of my gadgets I was going to demonstrate. Oh, oh I'm, I'm going to get some hair out of my pocket. Oh, God. Like you it's do. It's beautiful right. hair. You yes, didn't need that, to do that. I've got a lot <laughs> of that in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that a bit of mine from the dressing room? Straightening hair, there we are. That was... And that's what the straighteners do? That's what the straighteners do. Right, yeah. OK, because I've not got those. At lower myself. temperature without <laughs> damaging your hair. OK, yeah. fair enough. Perfect dress. Mm -hmm. OK, so, I mean, look, you've already touched your straighteners, but it all started with what's next to me. This was... Should the I kind turn of... it off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. go on. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Wouldn't it be yeah. funny if you didn't have to turn off your own hair? <laughs> yes. I was thinking, I'm looking at you. I don't even know what button, yeah. what button do you push? Well, I, I, I don't thinking... use it every day, of no. course. <laughs> <laughs> so it all started with this, didn't yes, it? This was yes. kind of your first proper com commercial venture mm -hmm. uh, back in, what, the 80s? Uh, 70s. 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 OK, 70s, so yeah. t talk about this. Tell me about this, because there'll well, be a lot of people looking at this right now not knowing what it is. Well, I got very frustrated with wheelbarrows, and it didn't seem to have changed the design since Roman times. But right. first of all, it has a big ball, so it doesn't sink into soft ground. And you yeah. always use a wheelbarrow on soft ground. I'm yes. building of site or in, in the garden. And then the bins, you, uh, water would slop out of it, and cement would slop out of it. So I made a nice dumper truck-shaped bin. Yeah. And then nice fat feet, so it won't in sink into soft ground yeah. at the bottom okay, there. Yes. So it's sort of, you know, rethought, rethinking a wheelbarrow. Because traditionally they were just two long planks yeah. with a wheel at one end and a sort of crude yes. uh, thing on the, yeah, course, on the, yeah. on the top. Um, so I just rethought it, that was all. Frustration it... out of using a, a conventional wheelbarrow. And do most of your... Sorry, Rochelle. Rochelle knows how excited no, I am. I, I do, no, I do know. I, I, I know. So you, 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 off you go. Crack on. Off you go. So, <laughs> it's OK. Do most of your inventions come... Are, are they born out of frustration? Of yes. Things that, so being an, anger, frustration is with using something every day. That's why I love doing everyday products rather yeah. than um, the sea truck, which was great fun. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I don't use the sea truck. You know, armies use them. So, so what about the vacuum cleaner? Because, Rochelle, you probably aren't old enough to remember when we used to have to change the Hoover bags, you know, you'd have to... Oh, no, I remember Do my mum really? doing that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, so you remember yeah, your mum sure. doing it, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that was a frustration for you? Yeah, yeah, very much so. But, well, not because of changing it, but the fact that the bags clog. Yeah. So when you start off, it's fine, but after a few minutes, you've lost half your suction. Yeah. And I found that very frustrating. You end up having to pick things up off the floor. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. things, and you get this awful smell of dog and yeah. everything else. Absolutely horrid. So I looked around for an alternative, and a cyclone is a wonderful way of separating by centrifugal force. But it's used industrially on a huge scale. And in yeah. fact, I built one for a factory, the ball barrow factory. Um, but I wondered if it would work on a small scale. And it, I built a, a cardboard one very quickly in the kitchen at home with gaffer tape and stuffed it on the back of my upright vacuum cleaner. And it appeared to work. I mean, of course, it didn't really work very well at all. It took me 5,127 prototypes to make it work. <laughs> <laughs> but it did eventually. It did eventually. It and did it became eventually. your signature product. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And obviously that's how, you know, that's how, for me, I originally know of you. But lately, I'm a, I have a whole new level of respect <laughs> because you entered the beauty industry, which yeah. sort of has taken it by yeah. absolute storm. And mm. this all came about originally with the hairdryer. And because you couldn't hear your wife when you was having a conversation with her while she was blow drying her hair. Is that right? You can't have a conversation it's with somebody true. who's a conventional hairdryer, no. It's true. And you wake everybody up in the house and so on. And they're very, very, very top heavy. 
See, because the motor, big heavy motor yeah. is at the top. Yeah. And we, we develop very high speed electric motors, which we've got in our vacuum cleaner and our hairdryer. And, that, and it's in there and it's hugely powerful, uh, but you're holding it. So it's a wonderful balance. It doesn't yes. feel heavy yeah. because you're actually holding the motor. So it's technology which starts all these things off. You can only make a better product if you develop better technology. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. And obviously beauty wasn't an area you per se yourself were in, but the hair dryer started it. You've got hair straighteners as well now. Yeah, that's, uh, that's that the is, thing yeah. that was chiming earlier. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when you think of when you think of these ideas, are you already thinking, well, what's next? I've got things that you know I can suck, I can blow dry, I can you know make room. You've got the fans and stuff. What, yeah. You know, air conditioner next, maybe. You, yeah, I mean, yes, you have to think years and years ahead. Sometimes ten or fifteen years ahead. So we started developing electric motors, but it was ten years before we got one on the market. Yeah, we've been developing new technology batteries. You know, not these liquid ones, but solid state ones. Wow. We've been doing that for ten years, and we're building the factory now in Singapore to, to make them. Yeah. But it just, you have to think very long term and invest long term. Wow. And, and is... what, obviously, like what, what we were saying that we both really admire, that it's like real things in life that yeah. bug you. You know, like, mm. I'm going to find a solution to this. How, how do you keep your hunger? How do you keep your drive for this? Well, it's what I do, and I've done it for... Mm -hmm. uh, I'm 74, so I've done it for 50 years, and I just love doing it. I love solving problems. And I have a wonderful team around me of, of young engineers who love solving the problems as well. So, mm -hmm. I mean, they're all their ideas now, not mine. I'm, I'm over the hill, I'm an old person. Oh, please, But they're, but they're, they're the ones yeah. who are driving it forward, and, and they're you're passionate really, about it. You're, so, you're passionate yourself in empowering young people in the innovation yeah. engineering space. In 10 years from now, do you hope that they are going to come up with what we'll be doing? Do you know what we'll be doing? Because we look at you thinking, well, you came up with all of these, yeah. you're ahead of your time. What do you think we'll be doing in 10 years? Oh, I can't tell you that. <laughs> but, I mean, no, rob robotics is a big thing we're doing, vision robotics, and yeah. I, I think robotics will be a, a big thing. Right. But it won't replace things like this. I mean, it's very, you, you could, in theory, mm -hmm. style your hair robotically. It would be very expensive. So I think robotics and... and uh, and sensors and, and things that predict failure, things that tell you what's going to happen. I, th I think those are the sort of things of the future to make your life easier. Yeah. Chores easier. Fascinating. And more mean, efficient. No, absolutely. Efficiency mm. is the key. Mm. Your products are always at the high end. They're considered purchases. They're quite expensive. Mm -hmm. mm. Can, will we ever see them going down in price? Will we ever see them being really affordable? I doubt it, because technology is expensive to develop. Yeah. And it's very expensive in the first place. Our electric motors, which have revolutionised vacuum cubes and so on, they're four times as expensive as conventional motors. Right. They yeah. have electronics, which is very, very expensive. So um, un unlikely to see us at the low end. Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. But the old adage of you buy once... You, 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 what is it they say? You buy, buy cheap, cheap buy twice. twice. So, you know, you, 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 you've put your name on it, so you mm. must back it yourself. Yes. You must say very it's going to last. So. That's why I put my name on it. Because a lot of appliance companies are sort of anonymous public companies. Yeah, but that's I'm, so true. I put my name on it only because I'm responsible for it. That's true. We're, as a family company, we're responsible for what we make. Look, do you know what? So brilliant. This is from my one at home. You bought that with you? <laughs> yeah, I've just wondered you might sign it for me. Oh, of oh, course, of course. Do you mind? I'd just, love to. I mean, to. it's just the little sucker thing I use you for the You should have bought the whole thing this was going to happen. Is that right? Is that yeah. right? Just yeah, that. yeah, absolutely. That in the book. That in the book, absolutely. Is that the attachment you use least? Uh, no, this is the attachment I use the most. Oh, is it really? This is good for skirting boards. Okay, okay. Yeah, just yeah, let yeah. you know. And sofa and sofas. And yeah. sofas. Back to sofas. I was going to say the, the back of the car. The car. No. And the car as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so yeah. many things I'm not even doing with it yet. Uh, thank you so much. So nice to meet you. Well, it's a great pleasure thank to be you. on. Thank you. So thank lovely thank to you. meet you.